Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to add your, your, your YouTube videos in your Joomla website. These are actually videos that are in a playlist in, in a YouTube channel. In the front page of this offline website that I'm building, I have a couple of use, user tube models installed that show the, the three most re recent videos in a playlist. So I have three, mod three videos out of the playlist Joomla, and then I have three videos out of the Internet and, sec and Security playlist, and then after that I have three videos out of the SKU list and three videos out of the invention list and when I add something to the playlist it will aut automatically come on my website so I can just watch videos and just add them to my playlist and then it will show up on the website And if I create a video and I add it to the Joomla list, it will add to the Joomla list. I also created a menu with menu items. Here we got a list that's called Funny, which is actually one of the playlists on my YouTube channel. This will show funny videos. Funny videos. And the inventions, loving bird. Then we got skew. We got skew. We got internet and security. We got Joomla, which is basically the same as the basic video. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how I created this. I'm going to do the, do the admin panel and I'm going to components and it's called user tube. So if you, if you have installed user tube, you go, if you have to install it, you go to extensions, manage, you click choose fair file and you click upload and install. And that will install the entire component plugin and and the mo the model. After you have installed it, you go to components, user tube, and it tells you what to do. This is how you set up the model, the the menu, and then I go to the menu. I click on main menu. And here we got the videos, videos, funny, inventions, laughing birds, Q, internet and security, and Joomla. Normally, if you create a menu item, you click on new, and then you have a new menu item. For example, in this case, the video one, you click on select, you click on user tube. Then you can choose between user tube full page, user tube grid with a description, and user tube vertical with description. Okay, well, I, I've created a full page here. I click on options, and in, the, in this options section, you can add a channel, channel URL, or user, username, or a playlist URL. In this, in this video, I added a playlist. I got a couple of playlists here. For example, the Loving Bird logo creator. And if you want to add the playlist, you have to, do you have to copy this code here and you have to paste it in here to show that video in this page. And after that, you have to change some options here, like the number of videos, 
the, after how many videos you wanted to paginate and the resolution of the video thumbs the thumbs in a row thumbs in a row in a small display and you can also change the height and the title under the thumb then you go you can also add a add a text before the videos video and after it page display you can also decide if you want to show a page heading that's basically it and after that you can also show a model on a page if you go to extensions models and you go to the select type and you look for user tube these are all the things I have installed for example I have I have created a YouTube video responsive slider book, which is easy. You click on new and you click on YouTube. Then you can then you have a new YouTube model. Well, I created some. I created the YouTube video responsive slider book, and I decided that I want it in just test, so that's in this page this is the the slider box with videos this is how the, the slider, slider box looks like so and, and if you want to want to show it on a certain website you have to go to menu assignment and you have to select a page here then I go to Madu and this is the position this is where the Madu is placed on your website and you have to of course install insert the playlist URL here the order the position on the list you can also display it the reverse and sync with your YouTube after 10 hours so then it will look for new videos thumb resolution, number of videos paginate after videos the layout is the response of slider box that is what I've just shown you ok now and this is the response of slider box when we got more we have the video responsive slider I'm going to look where I've placed that one I placed that under the video section so I selected this to make it show on the videos well this is the video section here I scroll down and this is the slider here it also slides after a couple of seconds but there's also an option it won't slide by default so you have to change that if you want it to slide by default so let's see what I've done I've installed a playlist URL I changed the order I didn't change it to reverse it will sync after every 10 hours it's on maximum show overlay video icon thumb grid you can also show the title under the thumb thumb with description, thumb description ratio, common thumbnail shadow, you can change the shadow and you have the response of slider here by default it will add, it will add a zero here this means the response of slider isn't sliding by default but if you do, you add for example 10 it will slide after 10 seconds like this one is sliding after 10 seconds like you can see here well this is the video, the responsive slider
And this is where we, we have also placed them on the front page, the use with your front page, which actually, which are the ones on the front page. This is what I've done on the front page. Thumb with description. So that's a layout, thumb with description. Like you can see, it's this is the thumb. It has a description behind this, and that's the thumb with description. So if I make a video on YouTube, after done 10 hours, it's placed on the website as well. And if, I, if I'm watching YouTube videos that I like and I've added to a playlist, it will also be shown on this website once it's online. And before that, I can still enjoy it offline to show my videos offline. I hope you liked this tutorial and I hope you will be back to my channel soon to watch more of my tutorials.